Hey, it's Woody with Hindsight. Uh, out here in my shop, uh, ordered a couple parts for the uh, Street Glide on December 28th. Uh, got one of them within four or five days of that. I'm still waiting on the fender from Paul Yaffe Originals. Uh, I've talked to him more than once. Supposedly it's on its way, but so I can't help you with uh, showing you pictures of it. Uh, but I did get this uh, really cool chin spoiler from Killer Customs. And they are in Lithuania. And like I said, I ordered this thing December 28th. And I had this thing, I believe it was January 3rd, January 4th, somewhere through there. Uh, came, it looked just like I th thought it was going to. You know, it's a raw gel coat. Uh, you know, it's gonna need a little bit of sanding and you know primer and stuff like that. But uh, I'm gonna do a quick test fit on it and get it uh, get it to where it's gonna look all right. Uh, I'll get it sanded down and primed it and uh, do some things to it while I'm still waiting on the fender to show up. Like I said, I was gonna paint a fender, a chin spoiler, and uh, I think I'm gonna spray the uh, interfering on the street glide. Uh, so anyway, hang tight, I'll show you a couple of pictures. What's in a box? And there she is. It, uh, like I said, it's like a gel coat, raw gel coat. Uh, looked like it was really good, good condition. Looks like they did a pretty good job of uh, the mold and everything. Uh, it was a little on the expensive side compared to some of the Chinese ones, uh, but those all were pretty generic. This one actually had, it looked a little different. That's why I liked it. Uh, what these grill pieces that one will set in here and the other one will set in here. Uh, so I got the street glide up on the stand, so uh, I'm gonna set the camera up on the on the stand and do a little test it. Hang on. Okay. So a couple little things. Read the directions, of course. This little cover that goes over the oil cooler, it has to come off. There's also a couple of these little clips. That I don't really know what that cable is. I think it's the brake line. Uh, it kind of holds it to this down tube on the other side. Got to get those out of the way. There is, this kind of slides up underneath in there or a bolt hole underneath here that is actually empty or I'm not real sure what it was supposed to be for. Got a little stud here that goes to the top. Killer Customs chin spoiler mounted up. Uh, I really didn't do anything to it yet. Uh, it's kind of, you need three hands to hold things when you're doing it. Uh, the way it mounts up underneath, there's wires and things in a way. I did have to oblong the hole just a little bit. Uh, the tab isn't quite sitting in the right spot. Uh, so it wouldn't let the bolt go in straight. Uh, up here, everything bolted up pretty good. I'm gonna do a little trim right here. It's really tight against this weld. Uh, I'm gonna trim it there. And I'm gonna trim it right here. Uh, the rear brake master cylinder, the line coming off of it, it's actually touching it and pushing on it. Uh, so, I mean, it's either gonna cause it to crack where it's gonna rub the paint off of it. So I'm gonna do a little about a three quarters of an inch trim right there. You'll never even notice it's like that. Uh, and then I'll have to figure out, I don't know if I'm gonna zip tie these back on, or if I'm gonna see if I can relocate those on the inside. 
and do something get them away from that uh, exhaust uh, but anyway uh, I'm gonna take it all apart it's got right there I don't know if you can see it it's got a mark where you know it just needs to be have a little filler put in it it's kind of rough casting right down here I'll sand it all down get it primed up uh, but other than that it uh, I think we're gonna be good to go so I'm gonna get it uh, I'm gonna pull it off and get it sanded down uh, I'll get it primed up hopefully the fender shows up here sometime this week I can get it off or get it uh, mounted up make sure everything's gonna be good with it I'm gonna take the, uh, the inner fairing off of it and I'm gonna paint it the same color uh, then I'm gonna be done with playing with it for this year uh, like I said I wanted to stretch the tank and stretch the fender and stretch bags and all that but uh, I got a car to play with now so I'm gonna spend my time on that instead all right hang tight solid steel right there that's uh that's thick uh i spent a little extra money for a steel one uh it's a harley they shake they vibrate things crack if it was fiberglass or plastic yeah, it wouldn't last Exactly what I was looking for. I hate the other the stock fender on it. I don't like how it's got that little duck bill thing on there. I like it wrapped, I like it's super tight. Well worth the money. Alright, I got my fender painted, got the chin spoiler painted. I changed my mind on doing the inner fairing. Uh, I'm not convinced I'm going to keep this color forever and ever and ever. So it was a lot of work to paint this color just to turn around and change it when I put the new rear fender and everything on it. So kind of skip that on that deal. I got the fender painted, got the chin spoiler painted, so I'm going to put it on right now. Okay. 